What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Watkins channel. My subject is the skanky stuff that people just in Riri have started doing lately. The reason why I'm making this video, just to bring it to my viewers' attention on what to be aware of if it hasn't happened to you, or for those of you that are going through it, just to let you know you ain't alone. So let's get started. But before I get started, smash that like button and uh, subscribe to my channel for those of you who are new here. Welcome. Now, here is what's been going on. I almost got beat up by Riri yesterday at Dunkin' Donuts when I went in there to buy something. You know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. You know, you come inside and because they have just lift a lot of the COVID-19 restrictions, um, you don't have to practice six feet distance anymore. So I come in and I understood that she looked behind the first time to see who was coming behind her. I got that. It's crazy out here. So I was looking at the menu. Do you know about three minutes later, she going to look back again, you know, because peaches and Riri in Michigan, they like to try to start a lot of shit with you. When they see you're not worried and because you ain't trying to talk to them. Yeah. So when she did it the second time and I was still looking up at the menu and then the lady that was taking the orders, she was really pretty. And this was one of Riri, she had the, y'all know how they had that hair weave in their hair? Where um, it's all unkept. And she had one of her shoes half off. And so you can see the back of her foot. It looked kind of ashen. You know. So uh, anyway, she's going to get mad. You know, but I was nice to the lady. The lady was nice to me. And I gave her a tip. So I went to sit down. You know, to wait for my order to get ready. Viewers, do you know that Riri went outside. Got in her. She had a nice truck. And parked by my window. Looking at me. Hoping I say something. So she can fight. Yeah. But remember I told you I made videos about this a long time ago. That this was going to start to happen. Now. Okay, that was Riri, right? Guess what Peaches did the day before at the gas station across the street from this same Dunkin' Donuts. Me and my friend went in there and got some food and stuff. And, you know, you warm up a sandwich in the microwave and everything. We having a good time laughing. We come outside, she mean mugged us. And because we didn't mean mug her back or try to talk to her, like he said, he got, she said he got them big mama arms. You know them big mama arms from you know, growing up. You see the black woman in the uh, family with them, them big bear hugger arms. And uh, do you know she sat in her vehicle and she had a nice car too. Hoping we would look back to, I guess, make an ugly face so she can come out and beat us up. And we did, we were sitting there talking and eating our sandwiches, laughing and everything. She finally drove off. See, yeah. That's, this is what Peaches and Riri is doing today. Starting shit as usual. But what they are coming to realize and they don't want to, that most brothers do not fuck with them anymore. Like I said, I left them alone in 2004. And I'm glad that I did. You know, and I don't think it's really so much that here is what bothers them is we're not bitter about it. You know, we're a lot happier, you know, smiling, and, you know, we look like, to them, we look like them uh, happy puppy Purina puppy child commercials, and, <laughs> man, they want to beat your ass. You know, and I'm just like, hey, uh, it ain't too far away where they're going to start, you know, going and just, you know, instead of waiting for you to give them an ugly look, they're going to just get out the car and come in and try to bust you and shit, you know. And then they're going to want to try to sleep with you for a few dollars. And then they're going to want a real relationship, you know. And with them being so masculine, you know, they're going to start to stalk. You know, it's, it's really sad. But like I said, uh, tune in. I'm going to keep you abreast on what's going on with what Peaches and Riri is doing now. You know, I understand they niggas. But now they're starting to become violent niggas, you know, towards uh, men like myself that don't want their ass no motherfucking love. So uh, don't you go anywhere and put the comments in the comment section. Ow, get down.